Bitcoin explodes in April. You want to know the last information, price predictions, and much more? Yes, then smash that like button because it's time for crypto. Crypto news, fun on the right, crypto a tope. So, what's gonna happen? We are going to close today the third grid candle in Bitcoin, and that's a very good thing. Also, we are above the moving average of 50 days in the monthly chart so that's also a very good thing for bitcoin and remember we are up 73 percent in 2023 so we have to dance and celebrate like this this is fun on the right style celebrating here we have the third green candle and you can see it's not the first time we have three green candles in these months we had it also in 2021 and we had it also in uh 2013 but you have to consider that at that point uh well it was up for a little a uh, time for a uh, recovery we went down for some months in both occasions so maybe now we're going to have also a couple of months in the red we'll see about that right now seven red months for march in bitcoin and five candles in the green and here all those situations where we were in a similar path you can see it was 2013 here uh, January, February, and March in the green, and also uh, we had it in 2021 here. But as I was telling you, April, May, and June was in the red, not April in 2013. It was a 50% up, but then we went down May and June. So maybe this is something we are going to have right now. What do you think about that? Just write a comment below this video. Thank you very much. Here you can see Pladisu talking about the times where we have three green candles, not in this very same month, but at some point, you can see here, 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 and here, and he's telling us that every time we went up for good. So maybe this time we are going to go up again. What's going to happen in April? This is uh, the chart for April's in Bitcoin history. We have had seven green candles so far and four in the red. And uh, you can see the most similar situation is this one we had in 2013 because those are three green candles and also uh, those are in the same months that we are having it right now. So what happened then? We went another green candle in April and then we had two, three months going down, then recovery to the new all-time high. So maybe if this is the most similar situation, this is what's going to happen. If so, April is going to be a green month. And then bad news and then good news again, as always with Bitcoin. But if we consider other temporalities for those three green candles, like in these uh, green bubbles, well, then we have uh, different situations. You can see we went up here. Here we went a little bit flat and here also a little bit flat. So once was crazy up and two were a little bit uh, like, um, like in the side and then again up. We'll see about that. Uh, we are breaking the macro downtrend and the idea from Red Capital is precisely are we going to do the same thing we did in 2015? Then we need a retest in the line or maybe we just broke for good like in 2019. What do you think about that? Tell me in the comments below. We are in our way to the first target according to Fibonacci 2 like we have in this picture. Maybe so. If that's the situation, we have to go now crazy up to $35,000 non-stop. Maybe we are in this epoch number four, emulating the past three epochs. If that's so, uh, you can see that we might go up and then down and up. As we saw in previous video about the uh, string theory for Bitcoin in the four year cycles. Anyways, we need to find support in the moving average of 200 in the weekly chart. 
if we want an April to go up and we need to break the line of 28, 29. Uh, it was, remember past video, a very, very psychological point, a very important one. It was support so many times in the past. Now resistance, we need a break for good there. We'll see if we are able of going farther than 29,300 right now our all-time high from the last time and how is the market gonna react with the close of the futures in the cme today is the last friday of a month and remember that's the period the time when we have those closes we can go to trading view you have the link in the description below if you want to do the same things i do i just try to find the last friday here of every month and you can see that we don't really have uh, for price uh, of Bitcoin the, for that behavior. We don't have here a clue because last time, well, we went up. So if that's going to happen again, we will go up. But uh, the previous time we were flat and then down. Uh, the previous time we went flat. The previous time we went a little bit flat, but they crazy up. So we have different scenarios right now. Like we can't find a clue here. Maybe you do. If so, share it with us. Thank you very much. Our mo main idea is a dollar going down good for bitcoin dollar going up bad for bitcoin right now in this line of support dollar has to decide whether of bouncing back or going lower that would be good for stock that would be good for bitcoin asian markets today going down as we had that small recovery for the dollar and anyways experts saying they were wrong like michael burry the multi-billionaire uh, that uh, at some point just uh, wrote on Twitter, sell, and the market reacted selling. Well, right now he's saying, I was wrong to say. The idea is that going back to the to 1920s, there has been uh, no better time, no better generation like ours in the sense that uh, this year was a very, very good moment for buying the dip and not selling so you can see that no one has any clue what to do and bitcoin keeps on being adopted here and there you can see now that uh in the best uh latin americans uh e-commerce platform called mercado libre now they are offering bitcoin trading to customers in chile very good news also we have this news from crypto economy they're telling us that bitcoin is uh, with new records breaking them. The hash rate achieved a new all-time high, reaching 400 exahashes per second, and that's double what it was in May of 2022. So maybe Bitcoin is approaching its best quarter ever. We'll see about that here in fun on the right. And maybe you think you're late. Well, wake up, because here Carl is telling us that we have 900 trillion in total assets in the economy, and Bitcoin is just 400 billion so we have a lot to grow still and we can see everybody now telling you to study bitcoin here we have uh this uh, bad sign in uh frankfurt in the ecb so another memorable moment in uh, bitcoin history and uh, we are just calling for Batman of Bitcoin and uh, warning everybody that this is a coming. What about Ethereum? What's going to happen with Ethereum this month in April? Well, we just closed March with a green candle too. We had that um, three times in the past here, here and here. It was 2016, 17 and also in 2021. And you can see again that in 2021, we went up and then down in uh, 2019, uh, sorry, in 2017, we went crazy up and in uh, 2016, we went flat. So again, what will happen? We have no clue. If we consider the times where we were going down and then we had three green candles, like in the yellow bubbles, well, you can see that once we went crazy, crazy up, the other time we had two more green months so that would be uh, good too. And uh, the last time, uh, well, you can see that we have to decide if we are going now to go uh, good or to go uh, selling short in Ethereum. It's 12 days till the Shanghai upgrade. And uh, we have to see 
how it's going to react the Ethereum price. This is the line. This is April 12th. And some experts telling us what's going to happen. You may consider that as the Ethereum 2.0 is blocked in the smart contract. Now that this is uh, free, uh, well, everybody will sell it. Well, we have here some arguments telling us that it might be true. We have a lot of Ethereum on those smart contracts, but mostly all this Ethereum is in LSDs. That means liquid staking, like, for example, Lido, Rocket Pool, or others like those. So, first thing, not all the smart contracts are uh, not liquid. So that means that uh, the sellers can sell already and they are not doing it. So they are trusting, they want uh, their holdings there in staking. On the other hand, you can sell everything at the same point. At the beginning, uh, you uh, have to uh, pass through phases. You can sell your 32 Ethereum all together or the profit you have beyond 32 Ethereum. So that means some of the Ethereum mines uh, remains blocked there in the smart contract at the beginning. So here I leave you the link in the description. If you want to go deeper, you have the dates of those uh, epochs uh, where you can uh, buy and uh, when you can sell your stake tokens. So finally, as a sum up, they say that the very first days, the three first days, then the 10 first days, uh, it might have uh, like that shell pressure, uh, Ethereum, and the price might be affected. But we can see that most of it is in liquid staking and uh, just some owners might want to sell some part of the uh, profit they already have with this staking. So in the short term, yes, we might have turbulence, we might have volatility, but in the long run, uh, once we get rid of that shell pressure, that would be good for Ethereum. Remember, going deflationary, burning uh, Ethereum every day. So yeah, we'll see about that. We will uh, keep talking about this as uh, the upgrade comes and it's going to be sure a uh, most important piece of information here in fun on the right here you can see that category in coin gecko the liquid staking you have lido you have rocket pool and i consider that maybe those can have also a decline in price but on the other hand well you need 32 ethereum in order to go to the smart contract by yourself and uh, some technical knowledge so maybe these solutions may be still a very, very good option. If you want to learn everything about staking, just go to this very, very special video we did. We create about staking with stakely.io and learn. Do not miss out that opportunity. The market today is seeing the red, the bubbles, but H bar in the red 2 XLM Stellar also in the green good news here you can see that the best one for the day is baby dodge do do be do be do which is crazy and why is that well they are telling us that this uh, meme coin is going to be listed today in one of the top 10 cryptocurrency exchanges so we'll see about that the market still is greedy we are in the 63 right now and we have some bad news or, well, news related with fiascos, like, for example, with FTX. Now they have a site for people in Europe where you can get your money, as uh, they did in Japan. I didn't know this, but they had this brand in Europe. If you registered uh, with this one, well, you can have your money back right away. Uh, but just a very, very, very a small amount of the users are using the uh, European platform. I tried to do uh, my recovery. Be careful with scams. I leave you the link uh, in the description, but still uh, just double check it's everything okay. And uh, you have to put there your email to see if you are using, if you were using uh, this exchange in Europe or the American brand. So I was not using this and I'm not having my money back yet. 
So try that. Also, uh, probably you have an email uh, with information for your claim, as we uh, did with BlockFi in the past. Now the same with FTX. We have to wait right now, but uh, just check your email, the spam folder, if you were using FTX to see if in the future we're able of having our money back. Sam Bachman Freight, the responsible, in my opinion, of all this fiasco, now pleading uh, not guilty about braving people in China. And bad news for the economy as a macro perspective. Russia now with the BRICS, they might have their own cryptocurrency or currency. Why don't use a Bitcoin? Come on, those countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, they might use Bitcoin in the future and not the dollar. Well, uh, also, we have that kind of information like Saudi Arabia is joining the SCO uh, and uh, they might uh, do some strategic, strategic trades. Those are China, Russia, India, Pakistan, and four other Central Asian nations. Those are the members. And they might do their things in their own cryptocurrencies or currencies. China and Brazil, uh, they have an agreement now to sell their trade in their own currencies instead of the dollar. But this guy, Don Lee, is telling us that there is no de-dollarization happening at all. And here you have the uh, crypto, the currencies shares of global transactions since 1989. And according to this chart, the uh, dollar in 2022 steals the dominance. So we'll see about that. We have some enemies. Now, Elizabeth Very Warren, uh, she is saying that she wants to run for president and she wants to run anti-crypto. She's the leader of the army anti-crypto. So this is for you, Elizabeth Warren. You have no clue what you're talking about. She is in favor of CBDCs. Uh, she's in favor of controlling your life for good. Be careful. Just try to protect your freedom. That's my opinion. And you can buy your cold wallet right now. They are still not able of blocking your cold wallets. We'll see in the future. So you might buy your Ledger Nano S Plus or X. And they just got a valuation of a billion dollars and they got a new round of 108 million. So congratulations on Ledger, Ledger Live. Uh, they are doing a really, really good job. Partners of Fun on the Right. If you want to buy one of those devices, link in the description, you help the channel. Thank you very, very much. And also, we have to talk again about taxes. Remember, don't wait till June. Do your taxes right now. In Denmark, now we have bad news. Well, bad news. The idea is that uh, they are going to uh, like change the law and you will have to pay between 37% uh, to 52% of those uh, earns you get with crypto. If you want to track your portfolio, if you want to do your tax report, just go in tracking 10% discount. Link in the description. Thank you very much. In the DeFi ecosystem, we are still between 50 and 40 billion dollars and we have a crazy good piece of information today, which is that an Argentina airline is going to use NFTs for the tickets, the plane tickets. This is happening in Algorand. This is so good. And finally, you are the owner of that NFT, which is your ticket. But maybe you can go to that trip in the future and you can sell with safety that NFT to other uh, person that might travel in your place. So this is something very, very good for the user. This is something very good for the airlines too. So yeah, thank you very much to this company that is pushing, that is trying it. And in the future, everything will use it. I'm not telling you that. It's City. Uh, they believe that the market for tokenized assets will get to uh, four trillion dollars in 2030. So just picture all the tickets, not just planes, but bookings, but concerts, etc., uh, theater, all that tokenized, and also more than that, the stock market and other assets and derivatives. So if that's the situation, congratulations for being here. You are so early still. Let's buy so more Bitcoin. This is not financial advice. Don't trust my idea. 
but that's what I'm going to do. And thank you for sharing to all the community like Shabiku telling us that he realized that in Instagram, they have a section for NFTs already. Very good. And thank you for everybody that sent us comments yesterday as we weren't able of uploading our video in YouTube. They were nice. Uh, they say sorry because they had trouble in the platform. And as I'm saying, thank you very much to everybody like Ramon saying that he's not eating without our uh, daily video. So thank you very much to all the community. Remember that you can watch our videos in YouTube, but also in Twitch and also in Odyssey. So have all those alternatives in case we had that kind of trouble and right now let's talk about technology Simon Josue sent us this this is AI playing a uh, rock scissors paper and we are tricking it with this face that's not fair but eventually the AI gets smarter and uh, kicks us so also this very very cool video um, here uh, is a stop motion work that right now due to my uh, poor connection is not working. Let's refresh it. And you can see here the Coyote that is chasing. Uh, I don't know how to call that in English, but very, 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 very cool. Slow motion, very slow cost of my internet. And what about this? He's uh, doing a total flip as a mortal. This is a very, very nice Pigeon, it seems to be a rider. What about this small cat so close, but no cigar? He wants to eat, but it's not able of doing so. And be careful of the small riders, because they might scare you as this little tiger. Are you getting annoyed, surprised, sleepy? What are your reactions to all this news? Just tell us in the comments below. Thank you very much. And what about this crazy rabbit? I relate a lot. I feel like this crazy rabbit. And I'm up for a crazy weekend. So yeah, let's forget about financials. And let's go and enjoy oh, life. And let's go and find someone to hack. For sure, we will share more things with you in fun on the right. If you want to learn Spanish, well, you can watch this very same video in our Premier channel, Fun on the Right. If you want more in English, just wait till Monday to the next video here in Crypto News, Fun on the Right. Health, money, love, party in peace. The best is yet to come and crypto a tope. To the moon!